Alright, this is our first AP Chem podcast, and we're going to be doing predicting reaction products today. So, here we go. The first one we're going to do is Na2SO4 plus Pb and O3, 2. Now what you're going to do is, because there's two molecules in each of these, you're going to do a double switch of the dancing partners. So sodium is going to go with nitrate, so you do NaNO3, and lead is going to go with sulfate, so you have PB3SO4, 2. Okay, now what you do is look at your solubility rules, and the first rule says that nitrate is soluble, so that means that this is going to break up into Na plus and NO3 minus. And it also says that most sulfate salts are soluble, but notable excep exceptions include lead sulfate. So this is not soluble. So what's going to happen is that when these two mix, this is going to precipitate out and form a solid at the bottom. So it's going to stay a solid. Alright, that's that one. And the next one is going to be KOH and F E. NO3 3. Okay. You do the double switch. Potassium is going to go with nitrate over there. Okay. And iron is going to go with hydroxide. Now, iron has a plus 3 charge here, so you're going to need 3 hydroxides on that one. Okay. Nitrate again is going to be soluble, so you're going to have K pluses and NO3 minuses. Alright, and your solubility rules, rule number five says that most hydroxide salts are only slightly soluble. They have to be 100% soluble for you to say that they, are, that they break up completely. If it's slightly soluble, you have to write it as a solid. Alright, that's just a brief overview of how you're going to predict uh, what the products are when two substances come together. Yay! Alright.